Okay, I'm going to show you how to do the post processor for these things. So once you've done them, you can show me the simulation, but you can't run it on the actual CNC machine until you post process it. Here, let me delete that. Um, and so I've already got you know my two pockets here, the to do that, and I can simulate it, and it will run. Speed up real fast, even faster. Oops. And you see that's where, sorry, I have to do the whole thing. You have to click on setup, then simulate, and then go. And that way it'll do the whole thing. All right, so I've done that. So now the next thing is to get it right used on the CNC machine. So I click on this right here, post process. When I do that, this window pops up, and you see it on the screen. Um, but I need to have, you need to make sure that you're right here, this thing right here, in, has to say Intellitech PLTW version 3. If it doesn't, in Canvas is this file, and right below the file, it shows you where you have to go to place it. It should already be there, but if it's not, this has to be there, otherwise it won't work. Uh, and then I can click where I want to put it. So I'm just going to put it on my desktop so I can find it. And Oh, right here. I do that. And so I'm going to put it on my desktop and say open. And so now it'll save it to my desktop so I can find it. All right. Um, I can, here's my program name. I'm going to call it multi pocket one just for something to be there. Okay. So this has to be here. Make sure you know where it's going to go. Give it a name. And then I click post. When I do that, it's going to say, okay, you want to save it? Saving it to my desktop. I click save. And what it will do, it will generate this, okay? This, it's already saved. This is the actual code. You don't need this. So I'm actually going to close that because I don't need it. But it is now on my desktop. So I'm going to open CNC base, click on my file, go to my desktop. And somewhere down here should be my multi pocket one. So I click that and open that. So here it is right here. Now, this is important. Under setup, run settings, this right here has to be checked. Arc, centers, incremental. If it's not checked, it won't work. This is the reason why some things didn't work earlier. So this has to be checked. Under run settings, click OK. And then I just verify, click go. And there you go. So this file, I could then save on a flash drive, take it to the machine, and it would actually mill it out. Okay, so I want you to do this for the multi-pocket, and the, I think I have the other one up here also, the multi-contour. So that, this one here, and this one here. Okay? And all you'll do is you'll do screenshots of this, of what you're looking at right here. Put two, those screenshots on two slides in PowerPoint, and then you upload that to Canvas. That just shows me you know how to prepare these things for the actual CNC machine, and then we'll go from there. Okay.